The auto flight system AFS on the Airbus long range family is designed to assist the pilot in flying the aircraft within the normal flight envelope, hence enhancing safety and optimizing performance. This module is an introduction to the AFS. Let's begin by building up a basic conceptual diagram. The auto flight system can be thought of as consisting of four main sections. At the heart of the system is a computation and processing section, the brain. The central processing section has access to several information sources. The pilots have access to the central processing section via input devices. Finally, after computation and processing commands are provided to output devices. For the auto flight system, in the Airbus Long Range family, computation and processing are done by two flight management guidance and envelope computers, FMGCs. The two FMGCs are identical and normally work together, so, for training purposes, we will group them as the flight management guidance and envelope system, FMGS. The FMGS receives navigation information, which contains details of airfields, navades, airways, routes, waypoints, procedures, SIDS, stars, approaches, missed approaches, etc. Aircraft performance information. The air data and inertial reference system, ADIRS, and the Global Positioning System GPS, for position and dynamic information. You will learn about them in the navigation chapter, the clock, and radio navigation information. The pilots provide inputs to the FMGS using a single flight control unit FCU for short-term interventions and three multi-purpose control and display units MCDU for long-term interventions. The FMGS provide outputs to the flight directors, FDs and autopilots, APs for pitch roll and yaw control, the auto thrust for thrust control, the MCDUs and EFIS for the display of information, and the navigation radios for the automatic tuning of radio aids. The FMGCs are divided into three main parts. Flight Management, FM, Flight Guidance, FG, and Flight Envelope, FE. Note, a fourth part called FIDS exists, but it is for maintenance only. The flight management part of the FMGS controls the following functions. Navigation. The position of the aircraft and the estimated accuracy of this position. Flight planning. 
the flight plan computation, performance optimization, costs, speeds, and altitude optimization, predictions, the accurate estimates for waypoints, altitudes, speeds, fuel, destinations, and alternates, and finally, display management, the control of information to the EFA system, to display auto flight modes, and navigation information. The flight guidance part of the FMGS provides flight director commands for the pilot to control the pitch, roll, and yell. Autopilot commands to automatically control pitch, roll, and yell, and auto thrust commands to automatically control thrust. Flight envelope part of the FMGS provides flight envelope computations. Example given minimum speeds such as VLS or maximum speeds such as VMO or VFE. Maneuvering speed computations. Best speed to fly at in a given flap configuration. Backup gross weight and center of gravity computations. Wind shear and aft CG warnings and flight management and flight guidance parameter monitoring. Note. The flight control computers also process some flight envelope speeds and they control many flight envelope functions such as protections. You will learn more about this in the flight controls chapter. As a general rule, the two FMGCs have access to information provided by on-site sensors, except for certain parameters, example given clock, or in case of failures. They exchange information for validity comparison purposes. For example, information from MCDU-1 is received by FMGC-1 and transmitted to FMGC-2. All FMGCs and MCDUs are then synchronized. The third MCDU is provided as a backup in case of failure of MCDU-1 or 2. It then replaces MCDU-1 or 2. In normal operation, it is used for other functions, such as a CARS or a CMS. The inputs from the FCU are fed to both FMGCs. Both FMGCs flight guidance parts send commands to the autopilots, flight directors and Wata thrust systems. According to an internal logic, one flight guidance is declared master. For example, if autopilot 1 is on, flight guidance 1 is declared as master. This determines, amongst other things, which of the two Wata thrust channels is in use. The controls and indicators found in the cockpit are one flight control unit or FCU, two flight director push button switches located on the EFIS control panels, and the associated EFIS displays, three multi purpose control and display units MCDU, and two A330 or four A340 thrust levers mainly an interface with auto thrust. You have just seen an overall presentation of the autoflight system. In the next modules, we will review each component in greater detail.